So this is my new Jeep. Uh, never thought I'd own the Jeep. Never had any interest in owning a Jeep until I saw uh, a few Jurassic Park motor pool cars a few years ago. I realized that'd be an awesome project to do. So that piqued my interest. As you can see, Jurassic Park has always been my favorite movie. So I decided to look into it. Actually, after meeting a few of the motor pool guys uh, at a convention a few months ago, I started thinking, you know, this is something I can do. Uh, so I started looking around. And after a few weeks of searching, I found this beautiful 1992 Jeep Wrangler on Craigslist, uh, just on a whim. And uh, a week later, I now own it. So let me give you a little tour so you guys can check this out. Luckily, I found a 1992 Sahara Edition. This is the same model as the one used in the film. I was extremely lucky to come across this model as they are pretty rare nowadays. Now the benefit of having the exact model used in the film, aside from not having the paint, is that it already came with most of the exterior accessories and most importantly, the original green interior. This accurate green interior was only found in the Sahara models, so I'm really lucky to have come across one. Now for the most part, this Jeep is almost all entirely original stock, except for the steel plating on the back rear. Luckily, with Jeeps as customizable as they are, they can be easily removed. Now let's take a look on the inside. Again, like I said, it's extremely difficult to find the original Sahara seats, especially in good condition. Luckily, mine aren't stained or ripped in any way, but the cushioning is giving out on the seat cushions. But overall, the inside really is in amazing condition, considering this Jeep is almost 23 years old. Thankfully, the previous owner had just put in a new soft top. You can definitely tell this Jeep was very well taken care of. At 127,000 miles, the engine runs extremely well, and shifting gears is very smooth. So these are the interior door panels found on the Sahara model. These leather pouches are extremely hard to come by. And here's a little touch I get excited every time I see. Now, although I have the original Sahara rims, these aren't the ones seen in the film. That's just one of the many items I'll have to add on to make this Jeep film accurate. Now, I'm by no means the most knowledgeable person when it comes to Jurassic Jeeps, but luckily I have a whole new group of friends in the Jurassic Park motor pool. They'll be giving me lots of direction as I move forward with my personal Jurassic Jeep build. For my Jeep build, I'm going to go with the number 9. The reason being, I was 9 years old when I saw the original movie in theaters and it made a huge impact in my life, and is definitely one of the highlights of my childhood. Now I have a feeling my build's going to be a very slow process, but I hope to document as much as I can along the way. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this look at my Jurassic Jeep. So thanks for watching, and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos.